Hello everyone, this is just uh, the next video in our series of uh, making self-driving cars in Hala in a simulator. So let's have a little bit more fun with the Mini, um, the car that we've got here following navigation route and its old friend the fire truck. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to see what happens when the car following navigation route and then the truck just knocks it off um, the road because obviously the truck is heavy. Uh, the idea here is to see whether the car will continue navigating to, and figure out how to get out of there. So let's do this. I've got in my tutorial for, I've got this section at the near the bottom that says full code with fire truck intrusion. Let's run it. Okay. So we can see that um, the mini popped up in the usual place because it's all pre-programmed. And then I also started fire truck. And the way I figured it out is I just wanted to find out which point when the car passes a particular point, I'll, I need to give the fire truck a bit of an acceleration so it gets going. And then I figured out that point should be around uh, so in this case, it's point 167. When it passes point 167, the fire truck gets going. So that happens. The collision, as you can see, happens. The mini gets out of whack, but it uh, manages to can completely normally follow the navigation route, which is great. Just shows our algorithm is actually quite strong. So if I wanted to make slightly heavier collision, so I, I could drop it by maybe one point and get the truck uh, moving earlier. And if I run that, we'll see what happens. At meantime, I would probably like to highlight that this uh, sort of approach of following navigation route would be perfectly applicable to a normal car. Um, and the equivalent in the real world will be uh, GPS, because GPS has coordinates pretty much similar to X and Y coordinates that we've got here. So we could theoretically apply the same approach in the real world, which is cool. All right, let's see that hap what happens now. Hopefully the impact into Mini will be more significant. Okay, boom. Yes, it is. But you see the recovery is actually quite remarkable, which is cool. And you can play with it and maybe initiate some of your own scenarios and have some fun with it. Now, what I've also got is I cleaned up some of the, uh, some of the code from before. I removed the truck in intrusion and I neatly moved all the function definitions up the top. But I also wanted to sort of create a continuous loop of whenever the car reaches the end of the navigation route, a new one pops up and then the car just follows the new one and so on and so on and so forth. So I've got a loop within a loop here. So the outer loop is uh, possible to um, effectively, you can only drop out of it when you press Q button. Otherwise, it loops um, by getting a new route at the end of uh, the current one and so on and so forth. So let's see what happens. If I run this and then we, we move to... So the, the route in, it, in each case is actually quite random. So, and I haven't finished playing with it, but Whoa, this is quite elaborate. Um, the the first one, the first route is followed by the car quite okay. And unfortunately it disappeared, so we should probably give it a bit more time. But whenever the car reaches the, the end of it, and then the new one appears, so the, something goes wrong in the tracking mechanism. And like in this particular case, it's fine, but sometimes... Uh, the car sort of realizes that it needs to go back and starts doing all those crazy 180-degree U-turn maneuvers. And hopefully we'll see when it happens next time. Let's see where the end of this navigation... Oh, and it's too late again. So what we need to do is when we show the... 
when we make the root appear we also we actually need to to give it a bit more time like for example uh, and you you can see i've actually selected two different functions i've got uh, one drawing a random root which is what i'm using here and then I also have the longest route, which is the one that we've been using before in the previous tutorial. So, like the draw root time should be... Uh, let's have it 60 seconds. So next time we run this, uh, the route will actually will, will stay for longer. But for now, let's just follow the car. Let's see what it is. And boom, this is exactly what I was talking about. You see the car is trying to get the beginning to the beginning of this route and it's all just about tracking. So we just need to somehow detect the point where we need to jump to the next route and uh, the waypoint rather and the next waypoint and so on and so forth. So we don't have to do the jerky 180 degree maneuvers. Hopefully you'll figure it out on your own. That's a just uh, that's just some new homework for you. Otherwise, I hope you had fun and this was useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.